Hello everyone and welcome to Monkeyfish channel. In today's video I would like to share with you my sumo experience from Japan. Those who are already subscribing to my channel know that I make a short from this event, but here I'm going to make a little bit longer version and tell you more details about it. It's really easy to find this place, you have to just take a Micho Shinjuku line and go out on the station number 12. After that you have to take a, around 6 minute walk and you are there. When you find this place then you know that you are there because it's a really nice looking restaurant. When you go inside you can feel already the sumo vibe and before everything starts you're going to get something to eat and you can try chankonabe. It is a traditional sumo hot pot dish, it's really good. And after that you're going to learn something about sumo history and the rules of the bouts so you're going to see what you can do and what you cannot do in the fight you're going to see also some elements of the sumo training and after that you can see three real matches between sumo wrestlers And if this is not enough, then everyone who joined this event can challenge sumo wrestler. But you have to remember that it's just for fun, so the guests have to wear sumo costume to fight sumo wrestler. For the safety and for fun. And me, because I am a sumo fan, then I asked them if I can go just like this without sumo costume because I wanted to feel it on my own skin. And, you know, just me and them, you know, it's, you know, you know. Yeah, and they was okay with that, so this is how it was. I know that he let me win this fight because he was nice to me and I was a guest but I have also some good moments there. I could push him a little bit so he slide on the floor Nani? and I also try to do Uchimata on him. <laughs> of course I failed that but for me, it was a huge win because I was there and I experienced sumo. But after that, it wasn't over yet. <laughs> so normally guests getting only one fight, but I asked if I can also fight another wrestler and they said yes. So... So Jumbo says he's really serious for now this time. Oh, yeah. 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 Watch out. Yeah, finish yourself. Go! 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 When I lost the fight really fast, I used a little bit their kindness and asked for one more match when I was already there. And one more. And 
they was really nice to me. And the final part is that they knew that I trained judo. They asked me about if I trained judo and I said yes, because they could feel it, how I move and what I do. After the show, I go to them and talk a little bit with them. And now I know that Jumbo, the tall guy with the white mawashi, he was a pro sumo wrestler and now he's retired. And he did uh, sumo for 21 years. And before that, he did judo. So this is why he knew that I trained judo because he could feel it, how I move and what I do. And the second guy, Matsu, this guy with the black mawashi, he did sumo for nine years and both of them are retired and this is what i know so slowly it's nothing more to say i can just tell you that if you are in japan you should go to this place and enjoy sumo it's really cool place and you're going to like it and yeah i'm going to let all information down below in the descriptions and this is it thank you for watching see you next time